In this step, we will machine these cutouts. In the 2D group, select Contour. Select these cutouts, making sure the direction is counterclockwise. Then press OK. Click on Tool and select Library Tool. Click on Filter. Make sure the type is set to flat end mill. And the tool diameter is equal to 0.25. Then press OK. Select the quarter inch flat end mill and press OK. Enter the comment, machine the cutouts using axis substitution. Select cut parameters. Make sure compensation type is set to computer and compensation direction is set to left. Then select lead in out. Change entry line to 60% and entry arc radius to 60%. Then copy the values over. Select linking parameters. Enable clearance set to two absolute. Retract 0.25 absolute. Feed plane, 0.2 incremental. Top of stock, 0 absolute. Then set the depth to minus 0.15. Select rotary axis control. Change the rotation type to axis substitution. Make sure substitute y axis is selected. The rotation direction is counterclockwise. And set the rotary diameter to 2.7165. Then enable Unroll. Press OK to generate the operation. Make sure that the tool motion is inside of the cutouts. If it's not, such as in this case, return to Toolpaths. Click on Geometry for operation number one and select the chain that represents the area where the tool was moving outside of the part. Right click on it and select reverse chain. Then press OK and regenerate the dirty operation. When all of the tool motion is inside the cutouts, Back plot the operation. When back plot is finished, press OK. Then select Simulator Options. Make sure Stock is set to Stock Setup. And press OK. Then verify operation number one. Select Verify, select Keep Chips, and select this area of the part. Minimize the simulation window. Return your view back to isometric and toggle the toolpath displays off. 